Hi guys, I'm Steven from Shield K9. I'm the general manager here. I run a lot of client interactions. I do a lot of the client scheduling, a lot of the phone calls, emails I do as well. And I also work with clients, a lot of one-on-one -on -one lessons. And I even do some board and trains as well. And that's what we're gonna be working on. So today I'm gonna be taking out Moby, who's a great day in boxer mix. And we're gonna be showing off what he can do. Come with me, we'll go. This is Moby. He's a Great Dane boxer mix, and he's here in our board and train program. He's on a five-week program. Uh, the reason he's here is for some fear reactive behavior. So we have a lot of barking, lunging, especially with men is his big issue. So he's here on a program where obviously we're working through the reactive behavior, but also we did obedience training with him as well. So a big thing whenever we're working with a fear reactive dog like Moby, we gotta understand where his behavior is coming from. So with his lunging, his barking, he has a bite as well. We understand that for him, it's a stress behavior. It's a fear behavior. It's not because he's a nasty dog at all. It's just because he doesn't know how to handle himself. So a lot of times with fear reactive cases, there's two things we do to really show the dog that this isn't the behavior that they should be exhibiting. The first thing we do is obviously when Moby came here, he wasn't a big fan of me. He's at the fence behind the kennel. He's lunging, he's barking at me. So for me, the first thing I always do with a dog like this is I build a relationship. The first thing I did, I took him out. We walked around and I just tried to make it fun for him. Once you have a relationship with a guy like him, he opens up so much. So in terms of behavior, we see a big behavior change once the dog is able to open up with you. So the first little bit, all I did with him was showed him some structure. I said, okay, you can't pull me on the leash. You're gonna walk around people. You're gonna walk around other dogs. And I showed him that nobody's gonna bother him. No dog is gonna bother him. And this helps with his fear because once he understands, hey, if I just pay attention to this guy, if I'm just obedient with this guy, I just work with this guy, nothing bad is ever gonna happen. And I don't have to handle any of the scenarios because I showed him that I'm handling it all. That dog's not gonna bother you. That person's not gonna come bother you. So once I showed him that already, he opened up a lot more with me. Now, the other thing obviously we wanna do when we're building a relationship with a dog like him and any dog is we wanna play. And play doesn't just mean that it has to be a toy, right? So I have one of Moby's favorite toys here with me. He likes the stick toys, but that's not the only way you can play with the dog. Early on, a lot of times with our board and trained dogs who come in, they're a little stressed with me. So a lot of times they won't take the toy right away. So what I do a lot of is I start a lot with food. Food doesn't have to be, okay, I just take my food and I just feed him. I can also play games with the food. I can get him to move for the food. I can get him to chase the food. Then once I got him doing that with me, once he became comfortable enough, where he was chasing food, following it, taking it, I also started using affection and praise with him. I can run around with him. This also gets him excited. This is another form of play to really open the dog up. And then finally, once I had all of that with Moby, then he was starting to take the toy with me. And that's where the real excitement for him comes. When he plays, he tugs with me, he does all of these things. This is where I got a really open dog. And now with him, we're best friends. I can do everything with him. We do all the obedience, he'll play. I can take him anywhere with me. And I don't see any of this fear reactive behavior. And the reason is, is because he really trusts me and he really understands that I pay attention to this guy and he's gonna handle everything for me. Building with that play, with that structure, is how we got him to this point. And then all of the obedience and the behavior just comes along with this. So this is big. Whenever you're working a dog who maybe has some fear reactivity or any reactive behavior, most reactive cases come from insecurity, come from fear. So with a dog like him, it's all about the relationship. It's all about the play. It's all about the structure. So now we're at the end of the five weeks with Moby here. And with him, he successfully passed the course. He's very good. We've been taking him into the city. We've been taking him everywhere with us. And we've been really testing him to see, okay, we're around other dogs, we're around a lot of people, we're around heavy distraction with him. Things that scare him, loud noises. And he's done a great job. And honestly, like I said before, like once you get trust with the dog and some structure, all of this comes a lot easier with him. And now we can really bring him anywhere we want. I can take him anywhere off leash. He has complete off leash freedom with me at all times. And he's doing great. And it just took a bit of opening up for him. And that was it. Thanks for watching.